So the principle of hybrid radio is that we're combining two technologies that have two very different sets of attributes. Broadcast is great as a technology to reach large numbers of people in large areas very, very cost effectively, but of course it's only a one-way technology. And what we're proposing is that we blend that strong technology together with the flexibility and the bi-directional nature of IP into one seamless distribution system, which is what we call hybrid radio. Once we've brought those two things together, Together, the audio continues to be delivered over the air along with some data but we can deliver a much richer and a much more interactive data service using the IP channel which can be coming over the mobile network or over Wi-Fi and once we've got that channel we can do things like improve the amount of metadata that we've got that describes radio stations things like station descriptions and logos and program guides we can add really stunning uh, visual information which enhances how radio looks and that's really important, particularly in car dashboards, as the screens are getting so much bigger and brighter in car dashboards. And critically, we can start to add interactivity to broadcast radio, particularly in the car. That's an important place for radio. It's a place where we need to be able to grab hold of the moments of interest that we can generate in our audience, hold on to them, and then let them go back and see the things that they found interesting on the radio later on, and then pick up their interaction and explore further. Even if all we're doing is grabbing their interest, that's a brand new measurement opportunity for radio that's enabled by a hybrid platform. And to get going is relatively simple. Um, all of the hybrid radio technology is open standard. It's all built on very, very standard web components. So if you've got a half decent web developer, they should be able to get you going with hybrid radio. And you can find out more information on the Radio DNS website at radiodns.org.